Hello friends, I am going to show you how the Livongo glucose meters give false reading or not does not give the accurate reading. I have two Livongo glucose meter. It's the same brand, same model, and I am going to put the strips, same strips from the same packet, with the same strip. Uh, and I am also going to use the same <coughs> control solution control solution 1 and 2 and I want to put the use the 2 Livongo meter and I want to see how the readings are different in each of these Livongo meter so whether these readings from these machines are reliable or why there is so much big difference in the reading that's what we want to see now so first <coughs> i will uh, turn on both the machines and put the strips the same strips so i got i took two strips from this bottle and I'll put the strips on each of them inside so let's put one on this one uh, here so put a strip on this one let's put this on and this is checking strip and then put the strip on the other one This is checking strips so i put the strips on both of them same from the same packet the strips color is different but i think it's the same strips just the color is different so now i'll use the control solution too i will shake the bottle to make it uniform solution to the solution become uniform a little bit shake it and then this is ready to check so now i'll open the bottle and put a drop in each one of them and we'll see uh, if the reading what is the difference in the reading so let's put a little bit of solution here on this one and on this one too okay let's see it's reading or not Still, it's not doing anything. Okay, this one is checking. Please wait. I don't see the reading from this one. Okay, this was 317 control solution. Still waiting for the reading from the other one. Let's see. I hope it is enough blood sample everywhere. Yeah. Still not reading. I don't know. This looks the sample looks good enough. No, it's not giving reading. This is error. There is too much time elapsed. Please insert insert the strip and try again okay let's put a new strip remove the strip from this one and put a new strip this always happens with these machines these machines are not reliable i think so okay let's take another strip from here Let's put a new strip.
ओके इंसर्ट स्ट्रिप ओके लेट्स पुल इट अगेन ओके चेकिंग स्ट्रिप्स एंड आई विल पुट द सेम सॉल्यूशन टू द रिपोर्ट प्रीवियसली होप दिस टाइम इट विल वर्क सो आई थिंक यू हैव टू पुट एट द एज एंड इट विल सक द लिक्विड या दैट्स व्हाट एंड देन यू कैन रीड द इट विल वर्क नाइसली आई थिंक यू हैव टू पुट टाइनी टॉप ऑन द सो इट्स 362 एंड दैट वाज वन 317. So see the difference. 317 and 362. That's almost 50. 50 bg. This is it's a big difference in the meter. So it's uh, it's for the same solution, same strip, same machines. Why is there so much difference? So there's a little, there's a lot of accuracy problems. So in 350 it is different. So you say about <coughs> in 300 reading you get 50 difference. So in 100 reading you get what 15 percent. So I'd say 15 percent error is the plus minus 15 to 20 percent error. Okay, so. That's it. This is a big error, I think. Both the machines are not showing the same reading. Okay, let's then let's do the uh, with the with the control solution too. Let's submit this. Okay. Done. Done. Okay. Now, to remove this, then I'll do with this one. Let's check the control solution one. Check it a little bit because I, if you don't check it, might not be mixed nicely and it will not give you the good results. So I'll just check it, and then we'll put the strips on both of the machine. So put the strip on here. Okay, and put the strip on this one. I'm putting the same color so that try to see if everything is identical. Trying to make it everything identical. So now open this bottle. So both are both machines are showing the ready to check, ready to check status. So let's put this control solution in both of them. This time I'll be very careful. I'll just put on the tip so it will it will suck the liquid from the tip and see it will be working nicely so just don't put on the top of the tip just put on the edge of the tip and let the liquid suck suck through this tip is not sucking okay sometimes it doesn't suck okay it sucked now so now it's uh, reading so see one is 113 one is 116 so this is really good actually why the control solution 2 was not that good so actually i think it depends on how you are putting the e putting the blood sample you should always try to put on the tip and let the fluid suck by these channels if the fluid suck by these channels don't put on the top so this is really good but i saw in control solution 2 it was it was so much difference so if we look at the bottle here it says control solution for control solution one let's see nicely yeah for control solution one it should be between 103 and 155 so it's showing 116 113 so that's uh, that's a good one now let's try again the control solution one again or control solution 2 again let's try control solution 2 again okay. so i'll take out the strips let's take out the strips and put a new strip let's submit this done Submit it. 
Don't miss for the strips, new strips. Done. Okay. Put the strip here. Okay. And I'll put the control cells in two and see how the, what is the difference how you're putting the ink in. So let's put the solution at the tip. Just put a little bit. Let it suck by this. Stop sucking. that's the problem the solution is not going sucking here it's too much probably let's try this and this one yeah this control source in two is not going nicely okay so in glucose is checking and it's still not detected 334 is not checking. Really. Maybe let's see. One is showing 334, another is still working on it. So, control solution 2 is it's not a good solution, I think. But if it's not a good solution, then why it's giving two different readings? Even on my blood sample, I tried. It was giving like 50, I think 20% error. One was showing 276, another was showing 210. So this is still not working. So this is nothing, it's not, it's delaying. I don't know. Now we have to change, put a new strip. Let's check this. It's delayed so much. Yeah. So you have to change, create, change, discard this one. Put a new strip again. Let's put a new strip. Okay. And put this solution here. Let's put it here. Let's put a drop here. I don't know why it's not sucking. Oh, okay, it's sucked now. Yeah, actually, it, how it has to be sucked, that's very important. You have to be sucking, then it will give you reading. So see, one is 380 and another is 334. So that's a big difference in the control solution. Two. I don't know why it's maybe the control solution two is bad. Do I have any new control solution? Let's see if I have a new control solution. No, I think it's a new control solution. So I'm using it. I have. Does it have any expiry date? Anything? Let's see. Um, yeah, it says expiry twenty twenty one eight twenty three. So it's not expired. It's still have six months or more so it's good solution but while well, these readings are different in two livingometer one is 380 one is 334 so that's a big difference so that's what i want to show that livingometers are not very accurate so i don't know if these are trustworthy so when you're taking glucose test uh you always check with the control solution be, be, because it is very it is giving you a false reading probably.